Welcome everybody, I'm Silly Knat, and today we're taking a look at the Galax Vivance 01 gaming monitor. This is 27 inches QHD, which is 2K at resolution of 2560 by 1440. This is an IPS monitor that has NVIDIA G-Sync, also AMBR, which is Advanced Motion Blur Reduction, HDR support, this also covers 95% of DCI-P3 color space, 99% sRGB, and has a 10-bit color depth. Not only that, its refresh rate can go up to 165Hz. It features a low blue light mode and also has built-in speakers. In the box, we have the base of the stand, which is metal. The neck of the stand, a display port cable, the power brick, the power cable, do know mine was a European version, but don't worry about that, it's just a standard kettle cable connection, so you can swap out for the country of your choice. In Australia, we run at 240 volts, so that's not a problem, we just plug in our normal cable and uh, off we go. Now the stand is pretty easy to assemble. It's a little bit different to uh, most stands you'll see. There's no thumb screw. Instead, there are these little clips inside the base where you simply slide in the neck of the stand like so. Attaching the stand to the monitor is pretty easy. Line up the tabs and press down. Taking a look at the back of the monitor, we have a Kensington lock. Also an audio out for headphones or speakers. Good for console gamers. We've got two display ports and two HDMI ports and your 12 volt power connector. Now here we have our menu joystick and a little bit strange, a dedicated G-Sync button. I'm not sure why you would need a dedicated button to turn G-Sync on and off, um, but it's there. We also have VESA mount support, which is very handy. And some cable management with the stand. Now the monitor can tilt up and down, but there's no height adjustment or swivel left and right. So if this is something you need, uh, this may not be the stand for you. You might have to mount it with the VESA mount. Now, when you think Galax, first thing comes to mind usually are graphics cards. You've seen them with their 3080s, 3090s, their Hall of Fame editions. They do look amazing. Um, this particular one here has a, a separate little LCD panel, which is pretty sweet. It looks like you can sit it on your desk. But in case you didn't know, or you've seen their logo somewhere before, it may have been in 3D Mark. 3D Mark is a benchmarking software that many enthusiasts use. And if you have a look here at the uh, footage, there it is. Galax is all over 3D Mark. The bezels are very thin, which is great. There is a uh, bit of a black border that goes all around the edge of the screen, but this seems pretty common with most monitors nowadays. One day we'll get to go all the way to the very edge and that's when it will look amazing. Now we have the OSD, or the on-screen display, which is basically the menu system for the monitor itself. Um, we use that little joystick at the back, which is, uh, I'd say, no better than any other joystick menu system that is on other monitors. I'm yet to find one that actually makes sense. For instance, here, to go across the menu items at the top of the screen there, 
you have to go up and down on the joystick, not left and right. But then the back button on the joystick is to the left. Um, yeah. And then the enter button is when you click in the joystick. It's definitely not easy to get used to, and I wouldn't want to use it very often, but um, that's, that's what they've got on this one. And uh, it takes a bit of getting used to, that's for sure. We're going to go through quickly what we have here as options. As long as I can uh, work this joystick. We have uh, colors. We've got HDR options to turn that on and off. We have got a volume option for uh, the output on the speakers or the headphones. You can uh, pick here different resolution options. You can uh, have a resolution notice, which is quite interesting because what that does allows you to run your monitor at 2K, but if you fire up a game that's still sitting at, let's say, 1080p, it'll come up and say, look, this content is at 1080p, you should change it. Um, and for those people who, you know, don't realize that, that, that's quite handy. It can be a bit of annoying sometimes, so after a while we'll turn it off and everything will eventually be 1080, uh, uh, 2K. But um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a feature. This is where you can uh, adjust G-Sync on and off, as well as that dedicated button at the back of the monitor. I do, still don't know why we have that there, but that's an option. Then you've got AMBR there as well which is the advanced motion blur reduction option. Be aware you can't have G-Sync and AMBR on at the same time. It is one or the other. Out of the box, it runs at 60 Hertz. So make sure you head over to the NVIDIA control panel and bump it up to its native 165 Hertz. Select the 1440p setting and you'll be off to the races. Next up, we'll head to the G-Sync section. Make sure that's turned on. We can see it's enabled. And uh, now you'll be at a game at 165 hertz without any screen tearing at 2K. Now I know this is not the most scientific test ever, but here we have Rise of the Tomb Raider running at 2K, all max settings on a 3090. Now we can see side by side what HDR on and HDR off looks like when playing Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now below you'll see there are chapter markers, so if you don't want to watch the whole benchmark, you're welcome to skip ahead.
Now, if you're looking at doing some content creation as well as gaming, this monitor's got you covered. Great color accuracy, heaps of screen real estate, everything's crisp and sharp. You can put so many more tools and palettes on the side. It's great. So whether you're into competitive eSport titles like Valorant or an action RPG like The Ascent here, or maybe even more action with some cyberpunk, this looked really good with the IPS panel, or a hero shooter like Overwatch. Overall, this monitor performed really well. Thanks again to Galax for sending it out. If this monitor is available in your region, this might be something that you'd be interested in. And drop us a comment down below, what's the first title you'd play on this monitor? If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It helps the algorithm recommend this to other people. And hit subscribe to see more awesome content like this. Have a great day.